What do you see in this gallbladder image? A. Increase through transmission. B. Gallstones. C. Reverb artifact. D. Side lobe artifact. The answer is A. Increased through transmission. 52. The duct of Worsung and CBD enter the duodenum through the A. Gastric fundus. B. Common hepatic duct. C. Cystic duct. D. Ampulla of Vatter. The answer is D. Ampulla of Vatter. 53. You scan a patient with a CBD measuring 1.3 centimeters. Where should you look for a cause? A. Spleen. B. Pancreatic head. C. Stomach. D. Right kidney. The answer is B. Pancreatic head. A dilated CBD can be due to cholidocolithiasis, so you should examine the intra and extrahepatic CBD as well as the CBD at the head of the pancreas. 53. A teenager comes to your department with right or lower quadrant pain, rebound tenderness, and leukocytosis. What's the most likely measurement of their appendix? A. 0.3 centimeters. B. 0.4 centimeters. C. Less than 0.6 centimeters. D. Greater than 0.6 centimeters. The answer is D. This patient most likely has appendicitis and the normal appendix measures less than 0.6 centimeters. 54. A patient comes to your department with an elevated lipase and amylase. What ultrasound is most likely ordered? A. Spleen. B. Renal artery Doppler. C. Pancreas. D. Lower extremity venous. The answer is C. Pancreas. Elevated lipase and amylase are indicative of pancreatitis. 55. The following image represents A. Renal mass B. Renal cyst C. Hydronephrosis D. Normal kidney The answer is D. Normal kidney 56. The arrow is pointing at A. Ligamentum venosum B. GB fossa C. Ligamentum teres D. Hepatic ligament. The answer is A. Ligamentum venosum. 57. The following image of a patient with increased lipase shows A. Pancreatic pseudocyst. B. Normal pancreas. C. Aortic aneurysm. D. SMA stenosis. The answer is B. Normal pancreas. 58. A dromedary hump is A. Pancreatic mass, B, liver mass, C, renal mass, D, normal variant of renal anatomy. The answer is D, normal variant of renal anatomy. A dromedary hump is a bulge in the left kidney, most likely caused by the impression of the spleen in the upper part of the kidney. 59. You perform an ultrasound on a two-year-old with a palpable abdominal mass and hematuria. What is the most likely cause? A. Mesoblastic nephroma. B. Wilms tumor. C. Hepatocellular carcinoma. D. Constipation. A mesoblastic nephroma is usually seen in the neonatal period. A hepatocellular carcinoma is an adult liver tumor. Constipation can present as a palpable mass in a two-year-old but with the age and presence of hematuria, Wilms tumor is most likely. It is the most common renal malignancy in children under 5. 60. A 50-year-old with bilateral enlarged cystic kidneys most likely has A. Autosomal dominant polycystic kidney disease B. Autosomal recessive polycystic kidney disease C. Multicystic dysplastic kidney D. Normal for age the answer is A, autosomal dominant polycystic kidney disease. Sometimes autosomal dominant polycystic kidney disease, also called adult polycystic kidney disease, is not found out till later life. Whereas autosomal recessive polycystic kidney disease is less common, presents earlier, and progresses to end-stage renal disease usually by age 15. 61. What is the arrow pointing to? A, ascites. B, pleural effusion. C, metastasis. 
D, none of the above. The answer is B, pleural effusion. 62. A patient comes to your department and you notice exophthalmia. What is the most likely cause? A. Addison's disease. B. Graves' disease. C. Hypertension. Or D. Diabetes. The answer is B. Graves' disease. Graves' disease is an autoimmune disorder that causes hyperthyroidism. The thyroid usually appears enlarged, heterogeneous, and with increased vascularity called thyroid inferno. Early on, the thyroid can be normal in appearance. What is the name of this structure? A. Pectoralis B. Sternocleidomastoid C. Obicularis oris D. Trapezius The answer is B. Sternocleidomastoid 64. What is the most likely cause of this mass in a patient with hypercalcemia? A. Hashimoto's thyroiditis B. Papillary carcinoma C. Parathyroid adenoma or D. Thyroid cyst The answer is C. Parathyroid adenoma which can cause hypercalcemia. In the same patient, they order a renal ultrasound. What can you expect to see? A. Renal hematoma B. Angiomyolipoma C. Glomerulonephritis or D. Medullary nephrocalcinosis the answer is D, medullary nephrocalcinosis, which can be caused by hypercalcemia. 66. The testicle is surrounded by this fibrous membrane. A, tunica albuginea. B, tunica vaginalis. C, tunica testicularis. Or D, none of the above. The answer is A, tunica albuginea. 67. A tubular structure in the scrotum that fills with color on Valsalva maneuver most likely represents A. Testicular torsion B. Varical seal C. Hydrocele D. Inguinal hernia Well, a testicular torsion is a twisted testicle with lack of blood flow. A hydrocele is a fluid collection around the testicle. An inguinal hernia can be seen in the inguinal canal and in going into the scrotum. However, it will not fill with color on Valsalva. So the answer is B, varicose seal. 68. A sexually active male with right testicular pain is sent to your department. What can you expect to find on his scrotal exam? A. Testicular torsion. B. Enlarged hyperemic epididymis. C. Testicular tumor. D. None of the above. The answer is B. Enlarged hyperemic epididymis. Patient has epididymitis. 69. A patient with bell clapper deformity is most likely to present with A. Testicular torsion B. Testicular pain C. Lack of color Doppler signal in the testis D. All of the above The answer is D. All of the above Bell clapper deformity is when the tunica vaginalis meets up high in the inguina, allowing the testicle to move freely and easily twist, predisposing the patient to testicular torsion. 70. A patient goes to surgery after you discover a pelvic mass. The surgeon tells you that there was teeth and hair in the lesion. What is the most likely diagnosis? A. Graphene follicle B. Cystic teratoma C. Fibroid D. Ovarian sarcoma The answer is B. Cystic teratoma or dermoid cyst. Teratomas are germ cell tumors that contain fat, hair, teeth, among other tissues. The word teratos means monster. 71. Cooper's ligaments are A. Supporting structures of the breast B. Divides the left and right lobe of the liver C. Ovarian ligament D. None of the above The answer is A. Supporting structures of the breast 72. The most common benign breast tumor is A. Ductal carcinoma B. Galactosil C. Fibroadenoma D. Dense breast The answer is C. Fibroadenoma 73. You see an anechoic space at the renal pelvis. What can you do to further characterize this finding? A. Nothing. It's hydronephrosis B. 
Put color Doppler on it to confirm that it's not a renal vein. C. Ask the patient to take a deep breath. D. Scan in the prone position. Though C and D can further help characterize a hydronephrosis, putting color Doppler to confirm is not a renal vein could be your first step. So the answer is B. 74. While doing a renal ultrasound on a neonate, you notice a linear hypoechoic structure superior to the kidney. This represents A. A. Renal lipoma. B. Adrenal hemorrhage. C. Normal adrenal gland. D. Gallbladder. The answer is C. Normal adrenal gland. Which is routinely seen in neonates. An adrenal hemorrhage would be larger, more round, hypoechoic, and or heterogeneous. 75. In a transverse view of the neck, what vessel is located anterolateral to the carotid? A. Superior thyroid artery. B. Internal jugular vein. C. External jugular vein. D. External carotid artery. The answer is B. Internal jugular vein.